Hi everyone and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So this is the first time I've filmed in about 10 days. So it feels really strange. I literally just got back from the airport like half hour ago, not even. But I figured I needed to make this video because I've been, I haven't really been putting it off, but I've kind of been in this reading slump while I was on vacation. And there's no excuses. I was in Disney World, so I had to be in my Disney World mode. Um, I just finished this book literally 11.30 p.m. December 31st. I was so determined that I had to finish this book so I would have a 12th book for my top 12 books of 2012. And so I rushed for you guys. I read this book in about two days because I read very little on the airplane there, right there. So I basically almost read this whole book in a span of two days. And I rushed so bad last night to finish this because I wanted to be truthful. I technically read this in 2012 because I finished it by 11.30 p.m. And that book is The Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom by Christopher Healy. So this is the cover. I've shown this in a haul, but I love this cover, so I had to show it again. And this book is really meant to be a child's book from ages 8 to 12. But honestly, I feel like I enjoyed it so much more reading it as a 22-year-old. Because this is a story about the Prince Charmings that kind of get forgotten about um, the princesses just kind of don't like them and they just kind of are like whatever and um, so they are actually given names and they somehow stumble upon each other together and they form this group where they're trying to save the kingdom basically. They're trying to actually be heroes because everybody in this world kind of doesn't see them as heroes and they, that's something I really liked about the story is the fact that we know Prince Charming as, oh, he's amazing. He's a hero. He does all this fancy stuff. And he wears fancy clothes and he's strong and all this stuff. And these characters are like almost the total opposites of what you think they would be. Like, let's see, right here, this is Prince Charming, um, Snow White's Prince Charming. And he's like a complete like dweeb. Like, he'll see an animal outside. Like, say he'll see a squirrel. He won't scream out squirrel. He'll be like, Humphrey, because that's his name, Humphrey. Like, he names every animal he ever sees, and he's just weird. And, like, the princesses are even, like, completely different. Like, Sleeping Beauty's a complete, like, witch. Like, I would not want to be her friend. And I really liked this story. Um, it has really cool pictures in it. Of course, now I'm not going to be able to find you one, am I? That's not even a cool one. I found you a cool one, but it was a picture of spoons. So it's not really cool. Oh, found one. Like, here's a witch. And it's funny because they'll, like, label it, like, figure whatever. And I thought that was really neat. Um, I just really enjoyed this story. The author um, uses some big words that I wouldn't expect an 8-year-old to know. So, like, I even had to ask my dad what one of the words was because I was like, I don't think I've ever heard of this word. I think it was, like, a made-up word or something. But it was, like, a long, really weird word to say. And there's dragons, as you can tell from this picture. There's a dragon in the story. There's trolls. There's witches. There's magic. There's sword fighting. There's a bandit. This is, like, so filled with action that I completely enjoy this book, even though it's meant for toddlers. Not toddlers. <laughs> children. Um, I wish I could just ramble on forever about this book. This book was so good! Um, I think that you should all read it. If you like fairy tales, I think you would totally enjoy this, like, new version of the fairy tales. And I think there's a book, too. I think there's a book, too. I'm not sure what it's called. But, yeah. This was good. You should read it. Read it. Read it. Sorry for such a short video. I was just like, I never know what is too much to say. Like, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Um, I don't know. I'm, like, really nervous now. Like, I feel like I'm not many people have been watching my videos lately. So, I feel like 
I'm not saying enough or I'm saying too much and people are turned off by it. Um, I don't know. I'll read the inside flap. Maybe that'll help you. Prince Liam, Prince Frederick, Fri Prince Duncan, Prince Gustav. You've never heard of them, have you? These are the princes who have saved Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Snow White, and Rapunzel, respectively. And yet, thanks to those lousy bards who wrote the tales, you likely know them as Prince Charming. But all of this is about to change. Rejected by their princesses and cast out of their castles, Liam, Frederick, Duncan, and Gustav stumble upon an evil plot that could endanger each of their kingdoms. Now it's up to them to triumph over the various shortcomings, take on trolls, bandits, dragons, witches, and other assorted terrors, and become the heroes no one ever thought they could be. Debut author Christopher Healy takes on a journey with four imperfect princes and the four improbable princesses, all of whom are who are trying to become perfect heroes. A fast-paced, funny, and fresh introduction to a world where everything, even our classic fairy tales, is not what it seems. And that is really true. I totally agree with that, and I really enjoyed this story. And um, if you have read this, go ahead and comment. If you haven't read this, still comment, because I love reading your comments. I respond to your comments, and... I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.